Welcome to our tutorial. Today we're going to create a background background image fader. So uh, it will be a background image fader like uh, on the main screen on Twitter. We have uh, here uh, an image and every few seconds uh, the image fades out and a new image fade in. So this is what we're going to create. So at first we need to download uh, jQuery. I downloaded the compressed version of jQuery production 2.1.4. So um, I'm going to create. I have created a folder called BG IMG Fader inside of my project folder. Uh, we're going to create some new folders. Call it the first one I call CSS. The second JS for JavaScript and the third one for IMG for our images that are going to fade in and out. Of course um, uh, we need a new file call it index.html and make a simple HTML structure. I call this uh, back Ground image fader perfect. Um, now we need to import our uh, our uh, uh, jQuery into our JavaScript folder. Put it inside of our JavaScript folder and then uh, we create a new file inside of our JavaScript uh, folder and call this bgimg fader.js <clears throat> inside of our CSS fo folder we create a new file call it uh, bgimg uh, fader CSS perfect and uh, we're going to create uh, we import our uh, our uh, uh, our uh, CSS so make link rel style sheet uh, type text CSS and href and I make an absolute path because I don't like relatives because sometimes they don't work sometimes they work so I make it absolute local host then local host dot bg IMG fader so now I'm going to copy this because I use it more often okay we have this and now we have a CSS and of course BG IMG dot fader dot CSS perfect <clears throat> then we need uh, two scripts one and it's really important that the first uh, uh, script that we import is our uh, jQuery script so uh, first we going to say source equals to our localhost dot fader dot js and call this uh, js jquery minus 2.1.4.min.js and the second is our own script our code snippet and it's called bg img fader dot js perfect <coughs> That's everything we need here. No, that's not true. We need a diff inside here and um, uh, make a class called slider. 
Uh, the reason why we need a div for our background is if we uh, would set our background to fade in and fade out it everything which is inside of our body deck would fade in and fade out so the, the, the formula would uh, fade in and out the headings the text would fade in and fade out and we don't need this to fade in and fade out we need to this to stay so we simply need uh, the uh, background image to fade in and fade out. So we put our image inside of our uh, own div. So uh, after we have done this, we are going to our CSS file and uh, call dot slider and make the positioning absolute because uh, if our div, our image div is inside of another div, um, when you're using uh, Bootstrap and you're inside of a container or inside of a row or inside of something, we need uh, the height and the and the, and the width always to be hundred percent of the screen size uh, of the window, not a hundred percent of uh, the div of the parent div. So. We say hide hundred percent and with hundred percent perfect. And now we're going to our JavaScript uh, file and we say dollar dot uh, document document dot ready function and everything that's inside of the document dot ready function uh, will be loaded uh, when the document everything that's on the document on the on the index HTML it's finished so uh, we uh, say when the document is ready do this function function perfect so uh, and inside of this uh, we need three variables the first one is a counter simply call it count starts by zero the second one is a variable called images and it's array of strings and it will uh, there are our uh, images inside so uh, the path of our images are inside of this array and the last one is our image itself and our image is our div more or less because uh, on the CSS of the div we are going to uh, create uh, or set the background image to the image of this array so uh, we need to identify our uh, our div. So we simply say dollar uh, and uh, dot. I called it. Did I call it slider? Of course I called it slider. It's fader. It's not a slider. It's a fader. So rename this to fader 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 so that we have a fader <laughs> it's not a slider okay uh, next in the next step uh, I need images inside of my folder so I'm gonna pause this video and I insert it I insert four images into I search four images for our tutorial today so Wait a minute. I am back and I imported four images and I don't show it to you because you will see it in the end when our images will fade in and fade out. So at first uh, we are going to copy our path because I always use absolute path because it's safer. So of course in a bigger project I would uh, make a constant to uh, not have so long paths <clears throat> but for this little project 
it's completely fine. So you can uh, import uh, every image you want, it doesn't matter uh, which one, just uh, import a little image and oh, I showed it to you, fuck. Just import a little uh, uh, image inside of this folder and uh, put the path inside of this array. <coughs> You can input as many pictures as you like. You can input two, you can input 100, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, uh, let's go. BG, IMG, fader, then we have IMG, and then BG1.jpg. Perfect. Now we copy this four times, three times, one, two, three and let's go and rename this to four three two first is one perfect okay now we have a function uh, and it's uh, called a set interval so we can uh, uh, set an interval inside of this every uh, uh, every uh, three seconds or every five seconds uh, the <clears throat> thing inside of uh, inside of this function the parameter uh, it's in milliseconds so uh, one second is 1000 milliseconds so uh, this are five seconds because it's 5000 milliseconds and of course we have another parameter we can do inside of this we simply make a function inside of this and we say you are uh, going to do every five seconds so we call another function inside of the set interval function and we say oh at first we have to set our image so we have our uh, image identifier we know where our image is so we say image.css and simply write css inside of this so we say background image and here we don't say we don't use dots uh, so we make this one and say uh, url and inside of this url we put our images but one of our images that are in this array and it's the first one so we say count because it's zero and our array starts by zero so we have zero one two and the last one three so uh, <clears throat> of course uh, here we have to set uh, have to fade out our image there's a function from jQuery and we have to say uh, what uh, what to do every or how long the fade out needs to take and I say half a second and of course we need to say what has to fade out and we say our image has to fade out so we say image dot fade out perfect <clears throat> and we say when uh, this fade out uh, is finished or when this function is called fade out then we will call another function that we create here and this function will uh, do something else and it will uh, load our new image so we say image.css and here we say simply background images.count same as above but we say plus plus so every five seconds fade out our image and set our image new and our images count plus plus as a, as the first one the first image is zero then the second time it will be one then it will two after five seconds it will be three then four five six seven eight nine ten and we don't have then images inside of this so we need to uh, make sure that it uh, will start again by zero when uh, the array is finished so we say if count equals 
images dot length then simply set count to zero that's all and now our image is faded out so we need to fade in our image so we say fade in and this will last half a second and of course we need to say what has to fade in so we say image fade in perfect now it should work perfectly fine if we reload our page yeah there's our image and after five seconds it fades out and a new one fades in yay five seconds all right we have a problem with the margin on top on our left side so we simply say uh, left zero top zero and of course make the set index to minus 99 so that it's always in the background reload this perfectly fine works fine yeah that's our uh, background image slider as we have inside of our uh, Twitter page so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video if you like it don't forget to hit subscribe uh, give me thumbs up and uh, see me in the next video um, of course uh, the code snippet is in the info box below so you can use this for free for every project you want uh, and uh, simply download the code or uh, and use it in every project you want to see you in the next video bye